Oh yeah. Damn, dude. Wow, that is sick. Sunday night, but that comet is what? fucking sick. Isn't its beak over? No. Really? Well, the thing is, it, it like para or perihelion. Uh huh. Oh God. It's green. Do you see that? What? Little balls coming down. Yeah, rolling balls hitting them. Oh God. Yeah, I don't love that. That's how these pebbles end up here, dude. Yeah, I don't love that one bit. Yeah, wow. Jesus, dude, that's bad. Ow! Keep moving. Yeah.
So where are you all headed today? Hopefully the saddle. We're playing it by ear. Almost there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like half the people we've come across haven't made it. Yeah. For whatever reason, but I'm pretty determined personally. Yeah, don't be too determined. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely playing it safe for yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, you did what? I'm like, that sounds like we're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> like, but from what I heard. Yeah. Dude, that's like the Keith of Granola. Wow. Up on Mount Islet back in December, and we had, it was the first day of sun after oh, yeah. that storm. Chunks of ice were coming out of the trees. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We didn't get hit, but it was like... Dude, we almost got hit. It was, it, we, it was, it was random that we didn't get hit. <laughs> were they like, um, like soft? Or? No, no, nice. no, no, they no, were size, blocks. Size, size of the cinder blocks. Or blocks. It's like getting hit in the head by a clear cinder block. And you're like hiking like right under him? Basically? Yeah, yeah. You know, he's keep moving. Don't wonder. <laughs> yeah. I'll just try to reduce the odds. Yeah. Statistics. Not today. Statistics. Honestly, is it? Hmm. Bright as hell. So it it meters through the lens, yeah. Yep. TTL. TTL. Through the lens. Oh. European. You know, there's like there's like twelve different lenses. Like five meters and it has like a sad face. And then it has like static rope. 10 meters, skull and crossbones. <laughs> <laughs> they still do that, dude. Like, um, we were teaching the kids some rope access stuff the other day, and we use these things called Betzel Absorbicas. Because in rope access, you're always using static lines. So the Absorbica is a shock absorber that's in your system on your backup. So if you were to take a fall, it would extend and hence you wouldn't get fucking your neck snapped on the static line, right? But, that being said, that adds more length to the system. So there's a similar little skull and crossbones, like, if you're, you know, eight feet off the ground, and your ASAP is below you, you are absolutely going to deck if it, if it deploys. Holy fuck, that's fucking scary. Watch this. Jesus fuck. You. Dude, saw a golf ball sized one go right by my fucking foot. I would have hurt if it hit me. No kidding. Oh, look at that bird. Wow. Igor, oh my god, dude. Wow. Careful, buddy. Careful. 
Ja, ja. Okay, amigo. This is some serious alpine shit right now, innit? The San Gabrolis. Eh? <laughs> oh. Okay. So. God, there's some big blocks falling here, buddy. Yeah. Just gotta move. Yeah. I think I'm hearing it right now. If you see, if you notice slabs starting to fall, yeah. Watch for all of the other trees to start dropping as well because it can sometimes be wind. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cute. Fuck. You alright buddy? Fucking hell, dude. It's crazy out here, isn't it? Hey. At least now, the biggest risk is trees overhead. Not so much. Doggo tracks. I do see it, yeah. Unleash doggo tracks. Oh. Fuck. Fuck me sideways, dog. I picked the wrong week to quit methamphetamines. Super. Super alpine. There's the saddle. Yeah. Holy shit. Fuck this. Huh? Yeah. And that ain't the only one either. Y'all made it, nice. Did you see the lady who got hit in the head? Yeah. There's gonna be a lot more of this on the way to the old 
Cucamonger. Timber's only a mile. Bighorn? How about Higborn? That's this way, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's a big one right there. Big one? Summit up there. Yeah. Okay. I'd say let's just go straight up, dude. Oh my god, look at the ocean. Wow. This is something else. Summit push. That's all that's left. Summit push. Wow. Oh fuck. Oh my god. So close. It's right behind this tree. Next time I see you, we'll be on the summit. Let's go. Yeah. Woo! Hell yeah. Oh, oh my God. Ow! What's up, dude? Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah, fucking. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm pretty warm right now. Yeah. Except for the ice fall, it was like basically prime.
sick. We're really out here. <sighs> Fuck, dude. From Baldi to Catalina. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck it now. Fuck me, dude. This is so sick out here. From Cucamonga, Ontario, Baldi, Timber. Thunder and Telegraph. Oh my god. Oh, and don't forget this one Big Horn Peak. You are in the San Gabriel's in winter time. Do not forget your gloves, your tampons, oh, your gaiters, your Isex, your helmet, and your buddy. Because if not, it is a long long and cold way down and you don't want to ride that dragon too fast be careful kids stay in school alpinism not even once funny story why is your crampon bag empty oh man that's funny as fuck okay let me get the majority of the snow off of my feet okay all right we have come up now we must go down okay remember kids Summit is actually the most dangerous place you can be. Alright, you ready to go down? Okay, one more time at the summit of the Bighorn Peak. Bighorn Peak, first time winter ascent. Check. Windy descent, also check. Wonderful windy formations up on this high ridge here.
That's a long way down. This is the prototypical cornice farming here. Respect the edge. Yeah? It's very low from here. Kukamonga. My God, this is the crazy summit ridge. And the ice fall hazard is extreme. Mother fuck, that's a big block. That's a big block, dude. That's a fucking widow maker, brother. Let's get off this fucking ridge. Fuck me. No kidding. Fuck, dude. These iced trees are just unbelievable. And they're unbelievably dangerous as well. I have a new respect for this after seeing what I've seen today. Okay, now, um, do we stay on the ridge a little bit? Oh God, before we start descending, no, we just descend through this thicket of trees here, right? No, like kind of diagonally. Uh-huh. That's where what? That's where you radioed me from? Okay. Yeah, really steep. So let's just keep on a forward trajectory till we find that down cut. Oh fuck. Watch out dude. Oh, 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 oh. Get your chain strap on, brother. This way, yeah? This way. Diagonal. Yeah. Okay. Stay the fuck clear of these trees, man, if you can. This shit looks beautiful, but my God, it could kill you. No hesitation. Crampons are making little rainbows as you're coming down. Okay, I think I see the descent route here. The gentler descent route ahead of us here. Yeah. 
good snow for uh, plan stepping. Tell you that much. Huh? Plunge stepping is like, is like, is like cozy warm blanket status. <laughs> for my feet. Yeah, yeah. That way you're not fucking shock loading the knees. Fucking hell, man, this is so sick. What a peak. Incredible. Just incredible. Ooh, Chile. Little bit of Chile. The wind moves the ice. That's the real fear. Not so much the cold. Which is not a good thing to get. But I just turned it off and turned it on again. Seems to be shooting. Oh, okay. It's a little bit of. Ow! Oh, got smacked in the face, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, by that one, just watch out for that one. We'll fucking clock you in the mouth if you let it. You right? Yeah, I popped through there for a second. I was like, wait a second. Am I post holing right now? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, the view of the bowl. The bowl is getting shadowed now. Wow. That's crazy, man. Igor, von Bolden up. I like a descent that's rapid, but not too rapid. <laughs> These snow conditions are quite excellent, man. If you take away the falling cinder blocks, that are ready to fuck your shit up. Other than that, I mean, for snow travel, this is excellent. Mui. Okay, gets a little steep here.
Okay. All right. Let's go. Huge fucking tall trees with huge fucking blocks of ice waiting to fall in the late afternoon after they've warmed up all day. The only thing to do here is to get the fuck out, okay? Should have packed my helmet. What a fucking stupid move. Not too. Fuck me. As you can see, Damn. Baldi's bowl is now almost entirely in the shadow. Oh, nice. I like your alternate routes. Very cool. This is a route that Daglo Orange the Glissade guy took. <laughs> oh, okay. I remember that guy. He was just like pounding through there going like, yeah, man! He was the friend of Mr. Monster guy. Mr. Summit Monster Pounder. Dude, I, I can relate, I can tell you that much. Nice. Wow, dude. Glissade guy did you a favor. The most dangerous part of our descent is now officially behind us. It'll be smooth sailing from here. That is Bighorn Peak behind that ridge up there. And now, time to boogie, boogie, boogie. Need some dry tooling. Dry tooling. Oh, I think my hands are enough for this. Mm. Well, on your feet. Yeah, I think that'll help. Oh yeah, bomber. Super bomber. Oh, that's a beautiful jug. Big jugs. A little bit further down to the left. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was good. Excellent. That was tight. Huh? 
I think it's moving. Oh. It may not be though. I'm on the equipment. It is. That, that is. Oh fuck. No, it's gone. I think it was a plane, man. Ah. Tip over? Home sweet home.